message from July 12, 2014. was the soundtrack for the biggest matches in squared circle history. And now he breaks down the latest happenings in the world of pro wrestling. Get ready for enticing conversations with legendary wrestling commentator, Jack Tice. Former wrestler now any promoter Baron Blade has been in the news along with his protege from BCW, who reports say had a contract offer on the table from WWE until he got into a fight with a masked fan outside the arena after his tryout match. And word is Triple H was furious and pulled the contract offer the next day. We uh, tracked down the person who recorded the video of the altercation that went viral, and uh, he had this to say. I was recording the video on my phone when the guy in the mask came out of nowhere and attacked him. I didn't get a real good look at the mask guy because it happened so fast, but from the way he was fighting, it seemed like he knew what he was doing. Like he wasn't just some regular fan. Interesting first-hand account on what went down, but uh, I wanted to hear from the man who's now capitalizing on this controversy. So uh, I reached out to BCW owner Baron Blade. Uh, here's a preview of what he had to say. Jack, you've been in this business for a long time, so you know it was once possible for a wrestler to be successful outside the WWE umbrella. And that's what I'm trying to do with BCW and Buzz. That's what we're calling him now, by the way, on account of all the buzz he's generating. But back to my point. Which is, who knows what would have happened if Buzz signed with NXT. It might have been two or three years before he was called up to Raw or SmackDown, and there's no guaranteeing that would have even happened at all. But I'm helping him make his own success right now. BCW is small, and we can move fast to capitalize on all the attention. WWE is this huge behemoth of a company where you need to hold 25 meetings to make a decision that we can make in two minutes. Oh, I know all about that, believe me. And I'm not saying that BCW is going to take down WWE. I mean, I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. All I'm saying is that guys like Buzz and Cole Quinn have a lot more opportunities right now with me than they might ever have with WWE. Very interesting comments from Baron Blade, who is about to hold BCW's very first internet-only pay-per-view. Uh, Buzz, as Baron's calling him, has made his name online, and they're sticking with that platform for their show. A smart move, in my opinion. Uh, coming up, you'll hear much more from my conversation with Baron Blade, including who he thinks might have attacked his protege, Buzz. You don't want to miss out on that. But first, a word from our sponsors. From inside the ring to behind the scenes, you're about to be up to no good with former WWE superstar Hood Benson and his co-host Pete Clark. Uh, all right, yeah, Pete, I, I'm, I'm just saying, Pete, you can't get into a fight with a fan, no matter what the circumstances are. Oh, but Hood, the you know, fan uh, attacked him first. What was he supposed uh, to do? Yeah, hey, hey, look, 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 look. I, I, I get it. You know, it's, it's, it's a tough situation to be in. You know, fans are crazy. You know, and oh, yeah. if 30 years ago, I, I probably would have done much worse than this <laughs> yes, guy you did. Would. And, you know, uh -huh. I ended up in jail. Yeah. You know? <laughs> My point. But, 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 but he has to realize that WWE is the big leagues. Yeah, well. You know, this is not, this, this, this is, this is not in the garage. You know, this, this is. There's zero tolerance for that sort of thing. There's no ifs and or a butt about it. And then that, that's why Triple H had no chance to but to pull his contract. No choice. Well, I would have liked to see him get a second chance. A, a second chance? Yeah. yeah he, he, he ain't even had him. He, he ain't even signed a contract yet for his first chance. All right. <laughs> you know, he, he, he didn't even earn a right for a second chance. Okay, fine. <laughs> but let's talk about what's happened since then. The videos of the fight have gone viral and BCW is capitalizing on the notoriety uh, by having their very first online pay-per-view. Uh, so it yeah. seems as if Baron Blade and his protege are making a positive out of this, no? Uh, I, I, I will give him credit for that. Right. You, know, you, you got to strike while the iron's hot. Yeah. Right now, this this guy's lava hot. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, we, we wouldn't be talking about him otherwise. Mm -hmm. So, are you going to order the pay-per-view? 
I do want to see what this guy's all about in the rain, you know? So I was thinking maybe you could order it at your house and I'll come over to watch. Yeah, I uh, knew that was bring coming. Bring some chips and everything. Hey, yeah, what, yeah. What, what do I always say? It's, it's not how much you make, it's how much you save. Yeah, by mooching off your friends. Exactly. Well, no, nah, you know, hey, look. I'll get the next one. <laughs> oh, famous last words. Sure you will. Let's take a minute to hear from our advertisers who pay for this show and also allow me to afford to have you use my friend. That's exactly why you two should face each other. The fans are dying to see what happens next. In fact, I just heard so many people were trying to buy the pay-per-view that the website crashed. Yeah, it was only temporary. And remember, it's falls count anywhere tonight. So feel free to take the fight wherever you need to. Just as long as you don't damage the principal's car. She'll never let me do this out here again. Deal? There he is, the man who drowned in his own rising tide. Come back to apologize to me for stealing my shot at WWE and immediately throwing it away? <laughs> Look, I am not apologizing for anything, okay? All I want to say is that we don't need to have each other's backs, but with what Baron is planning to do, the least we could do is have each other's respect, all right? So, are we good? <laughs> oh yeah, we're so good. I thought I'd introduce you to my new character I'm trying out tonight. You remember how Matt Bloom didn't like Mr. CQ and decided to give you a tryout instead of me? Sure. Smart decision. I'm calling myself Black Hole Cole because I have an energy so intense, nothing can escape it. <sighs> what? Oh, you don't like it? Why? Not a fan of masks these days. <laughs> you know, I find it really interesting that I was attacked by somebody wearing a mask, and next time I see you, you have a mask. Not to mention, you also had all the motivation in the world to do it. Hmm. You're right. It was me. So what are you going to do about it? Uh, you better tell me the truth right now. It wasn't me! I, I, I had a match that night 300 miles away. I got the gas receipts to prove it but I could have hired somebody to do it. What? It was a joke! Man, relax! You're real funny. Real funny. We'll see who's laughing after our match tonight. 